Hey everyone, welcome to the inventory. I'm your host, Zuja, and I'm joined by Spananon and Andrew. And today we have a special guest who wants you to fuck off with all that atheism spam. It's Namasp. Hello everyone, uh, it's a wonderful pleasure to be on the podcast. That's it. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I mean... Alright, good episode. Don't you want to talk okay. about the legendary characters you made, like Marinette? You know, everybody loves her. Indeed. Well, yeah, it's, it's, yourself, it's just, doing, just doing the introduction. We're just doing the introductions. I gotta yeah. follow, the, follow the script, man. Don't worry. Don't yeah, worry. We don't even have a script. You got you. Hated. This is your introduction. The good stuff's coming later. The good stuff's coming later. It's all about the foreplay. Look at what the game we're talking about is. Come on. Damn it. Alright, well, that's yeah, us. You gotta take off your accessories first. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta have like at least thirty five removing accessories lines, or it's just truly insufficient, dude. Just your clothing this time. We can hope for more later. Your clothing exclamation part question mark or my favorite version question mark exclamation mark. Hey, two target, two fucking lines. Let's go. Okay. So anyway, let's go look and then at it's the just frilly guns. Yeah, no, this is this is a great start, guys. <laughs> anyway. So, okay, okay. Actually, hold on. I'll give you guys a little bit more, more of an incentive. Thank you. So, yeah. yeah Tell us about I'm, yourself, dude. Break it down. Well, uh, I'm Enmas. I've been a mod for a few months. I've been a member of the development community for... Oh, I don't know, since like almost a year now. I think I'm like two months shy of a year. In that time, I've made Marinette, Futaba, Gwen, Say, 9S, and Ochako, who just released. And most of those have been collaborations, so special shout out to you know all the other contributors who have done a great work on that. So that's Frostfire 5. Your Space Pirate, Obey Saturn God, and a few other people on Futaba who are no longer active. Rip. Yeah, yeah we talked about Ochako last episode, actually. She's, she's I did! Her. Thank you. That was very sweet. Yeah, yeah we she's love her. Cute. We all love her here. She's one of the like characters that everyone was won for a while. Because, you know, Boku no Hero got really popular. So a lot of people are wanting more characters. I believe like someone's working on Suyu. Um... Toga's being I just, worked on. I just, uh, I actually just started working on Toru today, and I'm making her a big uh, Natarare character just because I know Hex is really into that. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not actually doing that, but. Dude, how would that work? How evil can you get? Okay. Well, I do have another character that I'll talk a little bit about later who oh, will yeah. be out yeah. within a few I know weeks. exactly so how evil you can get. Oh no. You'll, Anyway, uh, Did so I... oh god! All right, we lost Andrew. <laughs> I'll talk. I'll talk a little. You know, We're the way this is down. kind of broken down, the format that we've um, been following on the cast is after. Oh, after we go through the testing table stuff, I'll probably give a little bit more insight into my own development design process and kind of how I've gone through the various. Um, what is characters happening that I've with on. Andrew? Yeah, he's currently like <laughs> oscillating, like in and out of existence. Andrew. Yeah, Discord's just been fucking up today. But anyway, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah Discord, Discord has been rather, uh, rather deficient. It's alright, yeah. just keep going. Let's just hope the whole site doesn't go down in the middle of this. Anyway. Man, what a cock block. Yeah. Okay, so. Don't want to talk gonna, to you assholes longer than I have to. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thanks, bud. Okay, so. We're going to be looking at some of the new additions to the testing tables. We got a. Uh, Beatrix Loot. Lisavi? Lakavi? She's from Battleborn. Yeah. What's Maybe Battleborn? By, made by Blue Coin. Battleborn is like Overwatch, but not. Not as popular. Are you talking about Paladins? No, 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 no. Battleborn. The other one. What's Battleborn? The only like... source material with fewer fans than Vandra. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, what's up? You might have fed Dude. like three people. I Battleborn fucking bond. That game is hot garbage. I'm sorry. Beatrix Dude. might be a good character, but Battleborn is a shit game. The game I'm might be really, bad, but... really happy that Blue Coin brought, brought Beatrix back. I think she's a character with a lot of potential and a lot of really interesting interactions that really play to his strengths as a creator. And yep. I definitely really enjoyed her when she was on test last time. It'll be 
really wonderful to see him kind of bring her to completion in both senses of the word. So I think Beatrix is really interesting. I think her gimmicks are uh, pretty cool. I don't want to spoil those for people. But as a three-stage character, like, she's like, if, if you don't quite want to play with Felicia all the time and you want to unlock epilogues, I feel like she's a really good pick. Well, I got something to one-up that because our Mika is going to be a three-layer character, so we'll see what about is that. With you? <laughs> Dude, we're like the king of low-layer characters now. <laughs> and offline versions of Spinetti. Those stop, are the yeah. stop, break, stop breaking the editor. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, in all seriousness, I, I need to test out Beatrix. Does she have an actual unique gimmick? Does she have a gimmick? Her arm talks to her. Damn it, why'd you spoil it? Yeah, what the fuck? Well, I mean, what the fuck? You know, you, you, like, look, I'm not very smart. I don't pretend to be very smart. You asked me a question, I'm gonna give you the straight answer. Yeah, he asked if well, there is a gimmick, not what it uh, was. Okay, well, I'll test her out because I didn't even test her out last time. Oh, uh, I but I will test like... her out. She does look kind of cool, so. Yeah, I've I'll been give fucking it blowing it. There's, like, three characters on testing that I all need to, just, like, still play against. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, the last Battleborn character, what was it, like, the, oh, what was her name? It was the orange girl, Orindy, yeah. She really weirded me out, because, like, in all her lines, she was like, I'm gonna grow a dick right now, and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and, like, I didn't, I stopped playing her. I was like, what is this shit? <laughs> she just goes nuts. I, I gotta say, um, <laughs> in general, I really... I really like Blue Coin's stuff. Like, I think it's really out there, and he really pushes the limits. Oh, on, it's like, really that. out there, all right. But, like, <laughs> you never, like, you never know what you're gonna get with him. But like, it's like it's usually pretty good. And like, like I don't know if you guys talked about Joey on the last cast, but like Joey, I just kind of finished the game with her, and just exceptional quality. Blue Coin made when, me want to fuck a clown. Yeah, right. Though, like, it's so it's so. You guys weird. are saying this like it's some new, like, oh wow, a sexy clown. Are you never seen Harley Quinn before? What's the fuck? Okay, movie? but Harley Quinn and Spinati isn't. Uh... There, there is work to be done on Harley. And yeah. Well, Blue Coin did the update for Harley Quinn, so like, I mean, the is dialogue, that new? Though. Is there something new yeah. to her? Did but... she just get updated? Uh, no, I think that new Frost update looks cool because she destroys her clothing, and any character that destroys their clothing is cool. Give me Arkham, so. give me Arkham Harley, and then I'll whip my dick out. Anyway, um, yeah, so Beatrix, real cool. I think Joey's awesome. I think Arendi, I just Arendi's personality was like, Gross. I, I just, I, I, I didn't like Arendi's personality. It was very hard to get into her and engage with her seriously. And yeah, I she think was weirdo. She yeah. kind of yeah. just like shouted and didn't really acknowledge anyone. It's like playing yeah. with claptrap, like from Borderlands. And I actually think Blue Coin would do. Oh, like, I thought that was like... an STD. No. <laughs> what? No, that's in... because the clap is another word for chlamydia. <laughs> you know, I, I think the only thing I know about the clap is that you can only get so many get it so many times before it turns into applause. So... <laughs> 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 that <was really> good. <laughs> oh that was good moving on um yeah we actually have some some characters that aren't going to be on the testing tables much longer um saki yoshida made by johan and elizabeth comstock made by mostly you sir with some help from frostfire and have, they're i believe both up for sponsorship and actually i think both have have they both reached their goals for sponsorship yet I believe Saki is not. one off as of tonight, but I'm. I will I, go and sponsor her. Only okay, I can save go. her. There there you I will do it. I will do, do it. it. I need right to go. I'll play test her and sponsor her. You gotta save her with your dick. Like any ending where you save the princess with your dick is is an ending Whoa. worth completing. Stop typing. Um, actually, don't actually be doing it right now. That picks up on the di on the on the don't uh, like it. recording. I gotta, I gotta wank you all right now. No, no wank. We're gonna have a wank off. No, because that will actually probably violate the rules of Podbean and get us taken down. Because I already violate know the rules. It'll violate my personal space. Hey, we, we can't do any erotic role play on the podcast. No, let's I, not. I, I'm already pushing the rules. Slowly right now. remove socks. <laughs> Just your clothing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really cute socks. <laughs> hey, name, nice clothing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, wow, you're frilly clothing. You're frilly no clothing. Female start masturbating. Code disappointed. Uh. <laughs> Priority ninety nine. <laughs> Dude, 
dude, you know how you, you know how they have all those Minecraft joke books for like little no. kids. When will they make a Spinetti joke book? No. I mean, the Spinetti joke book is like I don't know. Just look at Johan. I, That's good enough. I'm gonna back off of that. Uh, okay, okay, so uh, hey, moving you on. Know so who else is on think, the testing uh, tables right now? Really cool. Um, Addis de Gracia, de Gracia. Fuck. Made by Warrior <laughs> of Odin. Another OC that starts with the letter A. Yeah, I, I like Dallas. I think like, the no first rants. playthrough was pretty interesting i would like to see a little bit more development of like ocs are really hard ocs are really really difficult both because there's kind of a stigma against them and also because andrew you no have to kind of you yeah you have to use like you have to be really economical with like how you use your dialogue and <laughs> i think alice is a really cute model i think the world she's from is potentially very interesting and i'd like to ex that explored more but yeah i think she's off to a really good start yeah, isn't she? Explain. Isn't she from a fan fiction called uh, Sonic in the Real World? No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know. Um, I, I haven't I, played I'm her sure yet, but I. But I don't know what you're talking about. I've heard a lot yeah, about dude, her. You know. <laughs> it's from... it's real, dude. It's fucking real life. No, no, no Andrew, you stoner. Anyway, and Alice is is interesting, but she doesn't talk much about herself or tell you a lot. She does a lot of things, like she has that fire thing she does, I think. But yeah, she that's never the kind explains of thing, that. Like, you really need to explain that. I yeah, you definitely need to like... explain that, hey, I have fucking fire coming out of my hand. This is a thing. Possible, She's you know, Fanta Chan, dude. That's what they do. So, I think, like, what would be really cool is, um, she's kind of from this, like, science fantasy setting, from what I've gathered from her creator. And there's, like, a kind of popular um, tabletop game called Starfinder that I think she would port really well into, and that would be kind of, like, a good way of, like, DOCing her, because you would have, like, a player character from a fantasy role-playing game, which I feel like might be kind of a good workaround. That's a really good idea. I mean, apparently but, he's, like, really releasing, like, her story soon that she's from. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. You know, I know um, we got a first taste. All of my OCs she does currently... a lot of characters already, which is definitely good. That gives her like a little more value than just like some character that literally no one has heard of. Yeah, Agreed. I mean, like we've seen OCs work like Ayala. I, I think I fucked up the pronunciation again. I think it's Ayala. Is it? Is Ayala? Yeah, I think it's Ayala. We had a huge. We talked like ten minutes last time on this. This is Ayala. We've seen like she's gone into the All main right, game. Well, yeah. Yeah. So let's like, move on to the work. next character. We talked about that last episode. <laughs> Yeah. Um, who's next? Um, Faye Valentine. I like her a lot because she's great. She she's fucking great. great. Really? She's like, great. Medley Tar is the next smash hit. Dude, Medley Tar is is the is the base god, dude. I love that dude. He's great. He is. Really I just good. got. She's I, got room to grow, but she's yeah. got a good foundation. Yeah. I think like I, I just like I I admittedly never watched Cowboy Bebop. It was a little bit. I'm about outside halfway my, through it. Sinner. It's like I. I don't think she's bad. I just think that she's kind of boring. Oh, and yeah. that's like, that that sucks. Because, like, I hate to say, oh, your character's boring without being able to say, like, oh, Dude, wow. she takes off her makeup as a, well, spoiler, but, you know, she's, she's got she some good off, I mean, she, she tries. She says she's boring, too, and then she's like, okay, I'll actually take something off. Well, she does take off her makeup, and then she's like, oh, that doesn't work. She also can yeah. be freely gunned if Marinette still had that line. Wait, no. I think it's she still know. there somewhere. It's is just... it? I hope it pops I... up again. I should just like use that as like a direct targeted line and just be like, like I think at one point I got kind of sick of like syntaxing things because English isn't my first language. So what I did is I was just like, you know, oh, that's a that's a cool clothing or you know, clothing's English isn't my first language on Marinette, and that was kind of my like <laughs> ghetto version of that but i think the yeah i think Faye, i think fake has room to grow i think seeing a little bit more targeted or contextual dialogue would be cool with yeah. her just because right now it's she's a little like she's she's not I, I take back when i said she's boring i think that she just has some room for improvement yeah that but is true again, but like, all characters on the testing table have room for improvement. yeah yeah that's why they just like doesn't you know? talk about herself very much yeah yeah, yeah. which is fine if you're someone it. who's watched cowboy bep up Beep up, be -be -doo -be -doo. Beep -boop. But like, if you haven't seen it, then like you have no idea who she is. 
Yeah. Yeah, like, you're like, who the fuck is this? She yeah. has a gun. You, we no matter have how popular gun. the character is, you need to write them as yeah. if, like, you know, the person, the player has no idea who they are. And that's why I kind of, like, think it's best to start with a more obscure character. Like, because, like, my first character, like, I think I'm the only one currently in the Discord who knows who she is. He is. It's it's a guy. But no. Um, I'm, yeah, I, I'm which, actually going to talk a little bit more about this when we get to yeah. further down, yeah, like, especially yeah. with... Actually, do we have anyone I think, else? I think to, this is a great point. Do we have any? Oh, yeah, we have. My fucking... My waifu. Made by the talented um, savior of waifus who was on here last episode. Um, he made Mahiru Koizumi from Super Danganronpa 2. Oh man, I love her a lot. She's, she's great. She's, she has a, a image with Felicia. Go check that shit out now. She's great. Yeah, she's very cool. I'm, she I have a, not played her as much as I would like to, but she is a very, very cool yeah. character and adds a lot to the game. Yeah, yeah she's, she's a she's a dream team collab between oh, yeah. the between Johan and oh, yeah. Tog, the creator yeah. of Pit, who we had an interview with. Yeah, I had um. He was the first um text interview I did. And he's great. He's in one of the one of the mods on the Discord. Cog can, is great. In Cog fact, I will be announcing for the very first time. So you're the first people to hear this outside of the mod team. That thankfully Cog will be joining us as a full time mod on really? the subreddit. Yes, oh, that's correct. That's cool, dude. Nice. Pretty Good nice. on him. Dude. You know, we really we really appreciate his hard work, and definitely he has the attributes we kind of need to you know and the staying power is you know a big factor in that and just you know phenomenal creator phenomenal you know person and it'll be really great to have him around to help out that's and cool man that's i'll get my that. chance well, some other day eventually <laughs> yeah dude cog is great johan's great all the creators here are pretty damn great honestly now um that's all the testing tables have for right now um, I recommend, if they haven't already been put on by the time this episode goes up, check out Elizabeth and Saki. Just, well, check out everyone on the testing tables, but check out those two because they're up for sponsorship, unless they get put into the main game before Sunday, and then we all look like idiots, because they're already in the game. I, I try and work quickly, but I don't think I work, I'm going to work that quickly on Okay, hopefully. So, yeah, check them out, I'll sponsor them. Always be checking the testing tables, because, like, if they're in the main game and you want to give feedback, that's awesome. But it's always good to help a character grow and be a part of that creation process. Yeah, now, uh, Namas, uh, like, so, real quick, can you talk a little bit about, like, what the quality assurance process kind of is for a mod? Yeah, of course. Um, so the kind of forward-facing aspects of what the mod QA is is that what we like to see is that people have playtested this character just because, you know, we're human, and I think I think Ard Arndris is probably, you know, was more oh, like a superhuman. Dude, like, dude was fucking phenomenal, but, you know, he was sinking, like, you know, five or six hours a day into the game, and I think that as long as you're having fun, that's good, but once you kind of get tasked with admin duties, it does become a point of stress. And I think what Pat... You know, Pat is Dom, myself, and now, or not now, but very shortly, Cog will be doing are kind of lightening up the load so that we can go ahead and, you know, enjoy the work that we're not only doing on our own characters, but also still be able to do all these evaluations on new characters and new content for the game. So the that was kind of a long-winded lead-in for what the Mod QA actually is. The Mod QA is we like to see that people have that are sponsoring these characters and being advocates for them have tested them and kind of done sufficient analysis to show that this character is reasonably error-free, this character doesn't have broken images, this character is within the context of their own universe, relatively consistent. Like, if you came up here and released, oh, I don't know, um, like 2B, if you came up with 2B and the whole time she's flirting with the player and she's like a super... Um, you know, sexual person, I think that would probably piss off a lot of people. Yeah. Samus. Mm -hmm. And so, I'll get, I can, I'll talk, if you guys want to ask me more about Samus, I'll talk more about Samus during my own kind of section. But, yeah. the, the mod QA is like, so, that's kind of the forward-facing. Like, we ask for sponsorship so people can kind of 
go play this character. And now with the template, it's like, you can't just say, yes, I played them. They are good. I want to put my bits in their bits and have fun. Like, it's, it's designed to be a little bit more rigorous than that. And the template does seem to be accomplishing that goal because fewer people are just saying like, oh yes, this is good. There are, there's more holistic feedback that's being generated and that's something we like to see. Um, the actual mod QA, which is like the last step before a character goes from test to the full game, is a comprehensive review, which means that one of the mods will sit down and, you know, not only playtest the character themselves, but also go through, check for dialogue errors, run them through the validator, and generally just make sure that there's no images that are objectively broken or strange or, you know, weird kind of syntactical problems or coding issues that happen on the back end and it does take some time and you know we're not perfect either there's stuff that slips through and that's why it's really important to continuously leverage feedback but the mod qa is that so the people who have kind of been granted authority and built up as you know not only people who can be respected by the community but also people who know the most about the content and can kind of evaluate it from not only the forward face of value like what does this character look like how do they act are there any errors but also how compatible they are they with the overall system so, you know are they causing any strange slowdowns and you know that's become more of a relevant topic of late rather than previously so the mod qa you know not to put it too much behind the scenes even still but it's essentially just a last ditch check to make sure that stuff is working as intended and that this character is not only a quality to the community but also the game as a whole yeah that, that makes sense it's kind of like the the final inspection before you send out a project and stuff kind of like basically the last, the last step you know because like we don't yeah. want to put all of the work onto your guys' shoulders because there's like only we well, just couldn't do it we could you know it wouldn't yeah it wouldn't be possible yeah, especially with, like, how many characters are currently in the main game? We have like, currently 88 live characters. Yeah, imagine if you had to fucking look through every single one of them yourself. Well, we more or less have, is, yeah. is what you have to consider, is that, like, all these yeah. characters that have gone through QA and all these characters that continue to go expansion, yeah. they get reviewed every single time someone does a merge request. Yeah. So, it's... it is a lot of work. Yeah. And, Shit. you know, the, the initial... It's good that we have the testing tables now to work out King, so it's not like... I was playing with Bruges the Bat, and suddenly my computer decided to burn itself to bits. Like, that's, that's not good. That's not good for the game, it's not good for the community, and so, you know, a lot of work does go into kind of making sure things are smooth. Yeah, we don't want, like... That's like, it's always good to have as many kind of quality check spots as you can without it becoming, like, kind of egregious. Yeah, exactly, and, you know, kind of sourcing that out to the community to some extent does save a lot of effort. Yeah, because it also gets more people interested in the game, yeah, yeah. too. Exactly. Now, um, let's talk about our projects a bit. Uh, Andrew, you got anything? You kind of mentioned it briefly before we started recording, yes. I think. I have a lot of things cooking up. Uh, a lot of things behind the scenes, but uh, the two projects that I could publicly talk about... Or, um, of course, I'm, I'm working on Wendy from the Wendy's fast food restaurant. <laughs> um, and Wendy's I've been working on that with the Pharaoh Securo, you know, a couple other people for a while now. Just waiting on Kuro to do those damn poses. Damn Kuro. But, um, Get on it. But once that is done, I will, I will continue to work on the other stuff with her. Just uh, I'm waiting on the poses right now. But the main thing I'm working on is uh, Rainbow Mika from Street Fighter Five and Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, I'm really like heavily working on her right now. She's like, I'd say 70, 80% done. Nice. Um, I would, I don't want to give an ETA, but just soon ish, uh, I next, would say. next month she should be out next month no no, no, no. <laughs> soon, hey soon ish hey guys, because Andrew, i want to I, I, hate, I hate i hate hate how uh some characters spend a very long time in the testing table up to 100 days right um and i want to get a character on the testing table get them tested a bit and then get them out right so yeah. i want to like release rainbow Mika when she's like done done and then just need That's some fair. like bugs and play testing right so like I want to. I'm not going to put her on the testing table until she's like, like you know, until you're satisfied. 100. Until I'm satisfied with her. Yeah. yeah. But I'm working on her with uh, Metalitar, who did Chun Li and Faye, 
and uh, he's great. Like uh, he's a uh, he just started working on the game a couple months ago, but he's he's really good. He knows his shit. He knows what yeah. he's doing. He made so, he gave uh, us Chuck Lee. Spending, uh, spending a while on testing, like a month or so. It's really yeah, hard. but I just I you know I think that it the less time the better. You know. Oh yeah, um, but also like the longer you're on it, that means like the more input you're getting, hopefully. But yeah, you don't oh, want to be like she's you don't gonna be, be great. In, you don't want to be stuck in testing purgatory. Yeah, fucking. But the yeah, Rainbow Meek has got some crazy ass gimmicks. I think everybody's gonna like. Yeah. Um, there's some interesting stuff that you guys are not gonna see coming that I probably haven't. I've spoiled it to some people. Some people know what I'm talking about, but. I know, you know fuck all about Rainbow Mika, so anything she does will be a surprise to me. I'm not well, like, going to involve her ass. Yeah, yeah maybe, it maybe. Be butt poses. But just you'll just see. as a general rule of thumb. Yeah, butt yeah, poses. That might, be, uh, that might have something uh, very major to do with her character. You might you stay oh, tuned, you know? Actually, I, I'm not going to make gonna that joke. tragic backstory. No, there's no tragic backstory. <laughs> did, did, Monk, did Boots die from Ebola? No, no, no Ebola. No one's no gonna Ebola. get that. <laughs> oh, this is a story there that we're not gonna tell. Uh, anyway, for my upcoming project, I, I talked about it last week, or two weeks ago. I'm still working on Yuichi Jin. I've gotten quite a bit of targets done. He's around 1,000 lines of dialogue now. I'm currently waiting on um, Zeus to finish his, uh, his poses. Because um, a lot of his poses need a lot of photoshopping, so... Yeah. yeah, Zeus is, you know, God, what a fucking masterful modeler, you know. Well, yeah, why do you think he like, named himself Zeus? He knows he's yeah, a god. Yeah, Jesus Christ, like, you know. No, Kisika Zeus, not Jesus. <laughs> you know, no, but, like, it's, like, it's hard to do very overtly masculine men in the program. Oh, yeah. And he just makes it work, and it's like, oh, well, I feel like a complete idiot, and that that's a good thing, right? Like, it's like, if I'm completely out of my depth, I'm like, oh my god, wow, you just, you're awesome. Like, you know, can't, can't put Zeus up enough. Like, yeah. what a good, what a good creator. He's the crea he's, he's the modeler the that, too. um, Captain Falcon deserved. Cause, like, he's supposed to be a swole dude. We need... Zeus is the go-to guy for swole dudes. If you want a swole dude, yeah, like put put his Captain America model next to Captain Falcon, and like Captain America has like actual like bulk, and Captain Falcon has like fake muscles. Yeah, even <laughs> Jin's like, kind of buffer than Falcon right now because he's got like that six pack and he's got some balls to the arm. Not enough to be like hulking, but like enough he's to got show that he's like... right. <laughs> yeah, that's his erection. Cause he's playing strip poker. Please clap. Right. Please <laughs> clap. <laughs> don't clap, right. don't. Yeah, but I'm also currently in... Um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but I've talked to a person who posted a motto a bit ago to the Reddit about creating... Um, doing dialogue for Makoto Nijima from Persona 5. Oh uh, yeah. man, yeah. not the good Makotos, like Makoto from Blaze Blue or Makoto from Street Fighter. There's so many Makotos, like Mako, you can't fuck yourself, it. dude. Mako, Mako fuck, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I thought about that for like three solid seconds. I'm not. Damn. Yeah. But yeah, no, Makoto Nijima, who's one of my, one of the most, more popular girls in Persona 5. I'm sorry, Masp, it wasn't Haru, but she'll come eventually. No, it's fine. Like, no, I, I, uh, I actually think, I, I think getting the core four on the tables would be really Really good, really good. Akira Kurusu when I Goro was Kechi. working on him at one point. Goro Kechi. So Jiro Sakura. No. <laughs> Munahisa no. Iwai. Iwai. It's like, the mod QA, it's like, oh no, we accidentally deleted all the files. <laughs> ah, it's a, such a shame. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna back them up, bitch. Oh no, every time you push to get lab, we just delete it. Oh, so uh, I'm cool. sorry if the merge request failed. We're so sorry. There's nothing oh, no. there. It's 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 get lab. Oh, get lab's being so weird lately. It just keeps deleting <laughs> these characters we don't like. Ah, uh, it's not a grotesque abuse of mod power, of course. Ah, uh, no, it's get lab just eating these characters. Oh, uh, oh shit, there went moon. Oh no. <laughs> hey, no. don't you don't you push it? I'll write another. I, I will write a vorfic between Sojiro Sakura and get lab. I don't know how uh, I'm gonna do it. Is this just the situation that's gonna happen if someone makes Waluigi? 
Uh, actually, Waluigi is the only character that is explicitly banned from the game. Yeah, yeah. Joseph Cantel said in an explicit interview, no that, one. That, that, is, that is like... Yeah. I, I, I'm actually not joking. Like that, That's a rule. Well, yeah, I hate to break it to make you, but using Can you make Wari- Waluigi Wario model. Though? I'm Can currently sitting at about 12,000 lines myself. A lie. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna Why contact the DNC to? and say that you have information leading to Hillary Clinton's arrest and we'll see where it goes from there. Hey not very far, but anyway. God no more it, Waluigi. What so, have we talked about? <laughs> what we anyway, cannot talk about. Uh, anyway. Alright, so Spanan on. How is how's Jura coming? How's how's Maya's ever ever creeping advance towards the ten that like the ten thousand marker? It's it's gonna be a long time until she gets to ten thousand. Believe hey. me. <laughs> but you know what number she'll be over if she gets to ten thousand? Eight thousand. Yeah. Nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, over eight thousand, dude. It's get over it? 8, <laughs> wow, like that Naruto joke. Get it, dude? <laughs> it's it's funny oh, yeah. because it's it's a meme from two thousand nine, and it hasn't been funny in like almost it's a decade. It's fucking two thousand six. <laughs> well, yeah, but it was big in two thousand nine because memes were big in two thousand nine. You fucking poser. Hey, anyway. memes are eternal. Hey, that's true. Anyway, so any other projects you're working on, or is it just like, I get what 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 are you so, doing? Jura, Jura's yeah, ready too long. Jura's on testing. Uh, I'm I'm currently getting her to be, I think, the sixth character in the game who targets every character in the game. That's, she's definitely going to be doing that. I mean, Jin's going to hopefully be the seventh one then. So All right. Well, I'm just Jin's using one. Maya as a template. And just whatever she targets, Jura is going to target. That's bad. So it's a lot easier this time. Yeah. Anyway. Um, besides that, uh, I just finished uh, Jura's epilogue, which Ooh, will be going out yeah. in her next update. Yeah. Maybe it'll be out and by that's... the time you're listening to this. Uh, no, it won't. <laughs> okay. It won't. But uh, it's uh, 21 screens long. It's got an animation. And uh, it's got a surprise. It's got does a pretty it, fun surprise. Does it have anime titties? Are there anime titties? Yes. Okay, I'm sold. Let's go. Lots of anime titties. Nice. Namas. No now. You get that? Do you get to uh, dare I say hold her hand? Oh, dude, don't. Maybe. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get shut down, dude. Uh oh. Yeah. Dude, well, the anyway, I, I said I said last time, but uh, after that. I'm working on uh, updating Revy's dialogue from Black Lagoon, so she targets everybody too. That's she gonna be high. Deserves to do That's it. gonna be real high. Revy's high. Yeah. I love. Her. She's one of the first players um, I played against. Yeah, fucking and she's gonna be her. the last because she's gonna fucking shoot you. <laughs> Damn it! I'd be all right, right with in that. The dick. Oh, in the dick? Is she just gonna shoot yeah. it off? I mean, as, as, in, in terms of like upcoming like full projects that I have to like do the posing and model for too. Well, I'm thinking about uh, Ayla from Chrono Trigger. I already have a pretty good model there. Nice. Spent a lot of work on getting her hair right. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. Nothing confirmed. I don't have a model yet, but uh, I'm thinking about making Bala Laika from Black Ooh. Lagoon. Ooh. So same source oh, as Revy. Yeah. Oh, her nice. Yeah, Mother Russia herself. Your Mother Russia. This is bad accent. The, the one, the one, the one character that Revy won't fuck with. I think um, <laughs> another character I'm gonna be working on soon because I did a poll a while ago and she got almost a hundred votes. I'm gonna be doing hopefully, hopefully soon after after Jin's through testing or at least on the table. I'm gonna be having help um Kuro and Superfluous to make Jinx from League of Legends. I thought you were gonna say Jinx from Pokemon. I was like, no, what the fuck? I'm not, I would. I mean, Does that violate yeah. like furry rules or something. <laughs> there are no furry rules, are there? There should be. There's uh, there's no rules against furries. However, characters must have discernible humanoid anatomy. That's so fair. no Freddy Freaker, no, no Fre- Freddy Freaker, get... and uh, you... Jinx would not be allowed on the tables. Jinx is humanoid though, and that's What's like why she's creepy. What about Mr. Mime? Can I make Mr. Mime? No, you. Why can I, mean, I not? You, can, make... you just can't put him on the testing table. Why can I not do it? He is very human-like. Because the mods are cowards. <laughs> Aren't? Isn't Jinx in like the human-like egg group? Yeah, no. she no. is. I think she's... that seals the deal. Yeah, dude, I'm making Jinx, and she's just gonna smooch you, and your computer is going to contact the I, FBI. Uh, oh, oh no, GitLab's acting up again. We deleted. Do like a do like a triple team of, of a triple tag team of like Jinx from Pokemon, Jinx from League, and like Jinx from like Teen Titans or something. Yeah, like I, <laughs> Wait, I don't need know. One like, Jinx, I, need one more Jinx though. Need one more Jinx. 
Jinx was uh, my go-to AD carry in League, so I'm actually very excited to see yeah. everyone's take on it. I've never played Jinx in my life. Well, Except for once. you should probably... Yeah, it's really... Tr trust me, it's really hard to get away with writing a character whose source material you haven't played. I mean, I play League, <laughs> I just haven't played Jinx. So you did like, that with Say. I did that, I, I did that with Say. <laughs> like, it's not so far... It's not so... I've played a lot of League of Legends, I know the lore behind Jinx and everything. Like... Like that the dialogue, shit. Though. The dialogue is so good. She's yeah, so crazy. I just can pull up her quotes page and go through her quotes. How, like how she has this whole kind of comedy duo with her gun. Which, oh god, I don't think we're going to be able to what's get the name this. Of, what's the name of her gun? Um, fish. Oh. Fish bones. Right, fish bones. That's one of them. There That's her go. biggest gun. Her favorite gun. Also, there I played this one porn game where she fucks her gun. But. Oh, fuck. Oh, beautiful. Or, well, she mentions it. She doesn't do it because the artists couldn't draw her gun. But. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't a it, it wasn't a good game, but it was a game, nonetheless. It was That's good, like, like our game. Our game is great. Our game is amazing. Anyway, Namas, we've been holding everyone. We've been hold holding everyone by the balls because they're waiting to hear from you. What are you working on? Well, uh, right now I'm working on kind of like I like to pure evil. what? Oh, not pure evil. Uh, maybe not so much. But I'm I'm working on kind of doing a general dialogue expansion on the six characters I already have in the main game. Nice. And just kind of like wrap, you know, rounding them out. You know, following up on interactions that have appeared since they were released, and just kind of. You know, doing some evergreening on them just to keep them, you know, interesting for you know newcomers and the like. Then once you know we get into June, July ish, probably July, I'll go back to working on some brand new content for everyone. Nice. And nice. on that list are well, um, Red from Transistor is written we're just kind of like ysp and i are just kind of working on poses between you know her many other excellent and high quality projects i always get really excited when she gets uh, more dialogue done on her stuff then i am also doing a collaboration with ysp and johan on akko from my from uh, little witch academia my little witch academia man oof that's a spicy crossover so then at some point after that, I'll probably do McCree with Zeus, and then I've got a couple other ideas that I've been kicking around. Nice. I can't wait and for I you have... to make... I can't wait for all the high noon jokes that are going to be made. Not so much just from McCree, but from Jin towards McCree. Oh, man. No, I've been talking to um, Amy's creator, and we have, a, we have a couple of good dynamics going on between Amy and McCree already, so it'll be nice Fuck. to put a model to that. Okay, and nice. And then... I also have um, a villain character that I've been working on that oh. will be on test eventually. Who is it? It's a secret. Fuck. She is going to be... Um, she will talk a lot of smack. And I think that it's going to be... Very, I, I think people who kind of like to spoof their characters a little bit will really enjoy her, and I think mm. people who are very attached to their waifus will find her very irritating. Dude, good luck getting Jin to react to be upset by anything you say. I'm I'm excited to see how Revy and also now your villain manage to try and bring Jin down a peg. It's because he's just the Chad. So I'm the thing, the thing with this character is that like she attacks the developers through their characters. Oh, so she's so, gonna make fun of me. It's gonna be, you know, it can, it, you know, I, I kind of have to stop myself a little bit. You know, not that I'm, I, I find it very hard to be mean to people, but That's it's right. kind of like, ooh, I should, I shouldn't say this. <laughs> roast? Okay, I, I give you permission to roast the fuck out of me. No matter what, don't hold no holds barred on me. I Are you gonna roast he... me for my high character contribution? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Character <laughs> gives me strength. <laughs> now, uh... I'm also probably not gonna. You know, to be honest, you know, I as a developer, I'm not. I I don't like having all my characters target every character. I feel like that makes 
I think that there's characters who can accomplish that very well, and I think it speaks well of people's skills as writers who can do that. For my characters, I think that I like their generic dialogue to cover most situations, and for characters that are either like really good interactions or characters that I personally really like, I put a lot more effort into the targeted lines. So back in the day, like, you know, back in the day as in you know, even four months ago, the idea that you'd have that was a not back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But like back in back when you know pre Discord or you know pre New Discord, anyway, um, you know, you just didn't get characters that targeted everyone, and I think that's great. Like, I think it's really awesome to see how much people are collaborating, how much people are engaging with each other. But to me, it's like I think that like you know I could have Futaba talk for hours you know, to, to Kyoko about, you know, the whole detective thing, and, you know, for those of you who haven't played Persona 5, that's a story element there, and ultimately it's like, I mostly want to spend my time engaging with characters that are very relevant to my characters, very interesting, or, you know, practically speaking, respond back. Like, when I see Masato's, you know, when I see Black Thulu writing Masato stuff, I... You know, that makes me more jazzed to write information on Say or on Marinette or on Ochako to, to, to Masato about her own world. Like, that's really cool. Like, characters that are in active development, I think, are probably the best targeted folks to me. Yeah. Anyway. I think, um, I know right now from Jin's targets, he doesn't so much target everyone all the time, but I do have for those, like, the opening, like, um, hand quality lines is where all his targets are going to be. Because I kind of want him to have a quick quip about everyone he plays with at the start, or, like, what? Yeah, them. I think that's really cool. That's what I'm planning yeah. on going with, but I'm not so sure. Like, there are things you have to target, I think. Like, there are some things that, like, it's weird not to target. Cough, cough, Amy. But then, like, you don't have to target, like, for example, like... I'm trying to think of, like, the blandest thing, like... You don't have to target Peach or Daisy. Yeah, you don't like have you can, no. but Yeah. You don't have to target like say Futaba taking off her jacket because like Or like and that's she does she say I don't remember if she says something cool when she does it, but like My characters never say anything cool, so yeah. it's it's fine. That's not true. Your characters are <laughs> fucking great. But like if it's like something big to target, then yeah, target the shit out of it, man. Or if it's like yeah. gimm- like the gimmick, you always want to target their gimmick too. I don't yeah. think you need to go like nuts with targeting each character to yeah. like a ridiculous extent. I mean, like pit. how Pit targets but... like doesn't Pit target want... every stage of every character? You want you want to at least acknowledge everyone. I think that's yeah. worthwhile. And at the very minimum, respond to targets given to you. Oh, I think responding yeah. to things that are incoming is like yeah, that that's you don't have to respond to all of them, but I think like if a character targets your character, it is good form to at least reply to it. Yeah, if it's something you can reply to, like if it's just like a one-off quip that they're given, then like I guess it's kind of hard to do it. But if it's like an, a question, for example, or like making fun of them or something, I think it's good to respond. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so those are kind of my upcoming projects. You can expect a villain probably this summer. Akko and McCree, um, eventually. Yeah. Probably, cool. probably by August, I'd say, for at least two of them. I have been thinking of making Sombra at some point, too, if I was able to find someone to make a good model for her. And I think at one point, me and Andrew talked a little bit about Widowmaker in, like, one of the voice chat times. I think yeah. Widowmaker would be a really cool character. I'm actually trying to go through on Mercy and respond to incoming tar- targeted dialogue nice. just because Nurse- she Mercy does cool. sort of need that. Yeah. She has some targets that she doesn't reply to. Anyway, uh, let's I don't answer think she some of the. To very many at all. But... Let's, let's answer some of the questions you've been given. So, actually, uh, before we get into this, I actually uh, have one question for Namas, but that's okay. Okay, go ahead. So, as a mod, do you have any interesting stories, like uh, anything funny or crazy you want to talk about? Uh, I think the funniest mod stories I can tell are ones where I've accidentally broken the game, or deliberately <laughs> broken the game, like when we did the testing tables button, and it was like, I was like, oh god, everything is fucked forever, and it's like, no, it's fine, just like let the queue cycle through, and I'm like, ah! And then, like, I did, like, I think... 
revert of a revert of a revert of a revert. Oh, shit. To finally get the content to go through. Um, that's, I, I think that's really the only, like, good mod story. Everything else is, you know, pretty, pretty transparent. You know, there's some people who, there's, you know, most people are really, really good about being polite, courteous members of the community. I try. I are. really try. Uh, yeah, I'm really grateful. Um, well, it's I in your best the, interest to be polite. Yeah. You want Don't people to write your character. Yeah, I think we've only ever had two people banned from like to say the Discord. Don't don't make don't be the third. It's, I got my account banned yeah. one time. Whenever we ban people, like which is very very infrequently, it's usually for age related infractions. If you're under eighteen, you should focus on getting good grades so you can go to college or getting into a good trade school. Like yeah. Espinadi will be here for you when you turn eighteen, but yeah. until then. Focus on setting up the rest of your life, and we'll be happy to contribute. Man, that got really depressing. Legal. Yeah, dude. If you're like, if you're under eighteen, please just like, yes, we all love anime titties. Go, you can. If I can't tell you not to look for anime titties. When I was sixteen, I was looking for anime titties. I love anime titties, but don't come here yeah. for your anime titties because we don't want to supply you with your anime titties yet. If yeah, if you're if you're under eighteen, my advice is uh, make a throwaway account first, so they can, so, so you can't see your post. What's history. a throwaway account? Uh, it's a it's account. Right? It's uh, an account that you, come you on the use podcast, that doesn't have connections sure your to your personal deep. life. I was just explaining. Fine, you do it. Uh. Okay, so that's uh, I mean, what? I also like actually did kind of prepare for more kind of an ongoing dialogue about my thoughts on some of the game stuff. But, but let's do the QA first. I think the, the questions that yeah. have been gathered for this I week mean, are very interesting. We do have a banter break coming up anyway, so we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So here's a question. I'm not gonna. I don't remember who sent in all the questions because I delete them after I compile the list. And also, I don't like, for example, for if there's dumb questions. I don't want to give the people their, their, like, the glorified fame. But anyway, if you had to dive into the source material of one Spinati character and take their place there, who would you pick? The fuck? That's so a weird question. That's, I, I, like, I like the question, though. though. It's a really kind of well, interesting. I don't even know where to start with that one. That most of the characters in Spinati are women? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I don't. I mean, well, and like, I do enjoy having a penis. Well, no, so. it's not so much you become them. It's like, for example, like if you chose Ruby from Ruby, you wouldn't like become Ruby. It would just be you, but you'd have a, but you'd be in where in her place. Oh shit! So you go fuck wise, dude. dude. Yeah, if <laughs> you want to, dude, calm That's down, my there, answer. Niels. That's I think my I'd answer. probably, I think I'd probably take Mia's place, like uh, uh, Mia Faye. Faye. I do that just because she's dead. Well, just because like, be like a lawyer or some shit. Well, no, just so I won't fucking die the second something looks my way. Like everything else is like way too strong for me. Like literally everything in the, like most of the stuff from this game is from like an incredibly hostile universe. Like can you imagine yeah. Saki's place, dude. Like no, shit. It's, oh, oh, shit. right, <laughs> right. Like it's not. It's not even like oh, you know. There's like monsters that are gonna like like de <laughs> decimate my family. It's like oh. Like the world is dark and depressing, and then like, this what, is our what are the rules here? Like, do I gain their superpowers or what? I don't no, know. I, just, I think you just. I, I feel like if they're known, if they're like in a world known for superpowers, like for Ruby, then yeah, you'll probably get a superpower. Or like, oh, if oh, you become like that, in BNHA, I want my quirk. Give that. To, give me that shit. Well, okay, but would you get a Chaco's quirk or would you get your well, own I, quirk? I don't care what, dude. Like, I'll you know, I'll get a good quirk. I have, I have faith in like. Karma. Your quirk is you get to control the size of your penis. You know, I think there's worse quirks out there. Yeah. What Frankie Frank always wanted. Pending, by the way. Drinky okay, Frank. So. Shall we go Wait, for like about actual what about he, has, he has a moon update. Wait, what? He has a what? A moon he update? A, he has a moon update. You're joking, right? No uh, way. Not, I'm, I'm completely serious. Drink what is it update? Drink is actually fully back. There's, there's more lines. Oh shit! Other that's, that's cool. Other I'm excited. Lines. Is she taking back the crown? I can't say. Oh, fuck. I, I'm excited because that means like we can actually give him advice now and like stuff. But also like I, I love Drinky King. He's cool. He's cool. But like fuck. What if he tries to push GSC back into the testing tables? 
then I mean, you know, GFC, you know, there's there's GFC no character should. without potential. GSC should be banned. Are you I think sh- GSC is probably very, very hard to make it. He doesn't he physically can't move his arms. C three PO looking ass motherfucker. It's like, okay, I think Waluigi has more potential than Gay Zucci, Spaghetti Chef. Zuja, who did you pick? Oh, who would I pick? Yeah, who did you pick? Who did, I mean, okay, if I, fuck, that's, I'm gonna quickly, um, scroll through all the characters real quick. Uh, fuck, that's a good question. Um, honestly, this isn't, like, for a meme response, I'd totally take Moonspot, because then I get to be, like, the protagonist of a Pokemon game. That'd be pretty cool, but yeah, why like, can't you just take like Misty Spot or some shit? Because well, because then I'd have to have responsibilities as the leader of a Pokemon gym or like part of that. that that'd be cooler. Thing. That would be cooler, actually. But I don't like water types that much. I fucking hate the water. So, hmm. but I think it's would I rather only have be in the for Misty or either Misty or Moon or maybe like. Um, I kind of would like to take Yang spot too, or like Futa. So you can fuck spot. Was? No, it's so I could, could if I get her gauntlet, so I can punch the shit out of things. But don't you have hands in real life? Can't you already well, punch yeah, the shit out of things? I can, but I do not have shotgun gauntlets. So you could just fucking go to the army supply store and buy some shotgun shells. I live shells in Canada. I that. think this is gonna go far yeah. more poorly than you expected to. But yeah. Uh, or, Probably on though, actually. Now that I think All about right, it. Alright, next question. Actually, no, not on. Anyway, um, what are three pairs of characters that you think have the best banter with each other? Should I go that- Kim, Lynn for Lynn and Florina, and probably say and Maya. Not Pit and Palutena. I have not actually played Pit and Palutena together. I'm so Super sorry. Cool. I don't, um, I don't think I have they're both it. individually so good that I don't usually think to put them on the same table. I have really to bad. go with Marinette and Gwen. That shit's awesome. That's cool. I it love the kind of, Hot I'm so, it's just, I just love it. It's just great. That's not just trying to suck your dick here. That's just I love it. Of course, Kim and she go. It's always cool. Th- throwbacks to my childhood. When and you then, were a uh, kid, you were watching Kim Possible. Do you think Shiga was like an evil clone of Kim? Because that always really confused me. No, I <laughs> just kind of thought that Shiga was hot. Well, yeah, that too. But I'm, I'm talking about the lore. I never thought about the lore because I was a fucking kid. Damn it. Um, and then I think um, oh, I, hmm. who else has really good banter? I'm trying to think a bit. I really don't pick characters based on pairs. I just kind of pick them like, oh, I want yeah. Like this is a really good question. Like I think it just kind of gets you to think about like what characters pair off. I guess I like Yang and Neo too. Just like any character that talks back to the things he says. Basically, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, it's always good to have. I guess Jura and Maya too. Then Team Ruby, they Jura and Maya do have the most amount, like amount of banter. Oh well, yeah, because you like fucking holy shit, bud. I kind of kind of cheated there, but they are technically the most targeted characters because of the, each other. <laughs> That's definitely cheating. Um, okay, so I'm only doing this question, question because it's literally been submitted, I think, four or t- four to five times. To put that into perspective, I've only had this up for two episodes. So, holy shit! Yeah fucking five times three times for the last episode twice expe- this episode. i think it's gonna be an awful question i it, i have my hopes really it low. is so i'm doing this question you cannot ask me it anymore or else i'm gonna yell at you i have bounds i have reason to get pissed off at you if you ask me this again because it's been answered so i can just say listen to the fucking podcast if two guys were on the moon and one killed the other with a rock would that be fucked up or what yes next question are you proud of your contributions to the game enough to show people in real life no no i would never show anyone in all real right life next this. question next yeah, question. Yes, I'm proud. no not in no. real life i actually i actually share them with like i share all my projects with my uh my partner as like QA to say like oh look what I did today your partner in crime oh yeah no my girlfriend but yeah I mean if your if your crime is sex then yes. Bonnie and Clyde 
And then, uh, no, but like, you know, I, I, you know, it's, it's a lot of work and, you know, I'm glad that I'm with someone who's respectful of that. And then I yeah. think I have like, I have friends who are aware that I work on it, but I'm never like, yo, check out these anime titties. Like, I don't have that kind of relationship with them and I'm okay with that. I don't have that many really close friends in real life. This isn't like a sad thing. It's just more of a, I'm an, I'm an, I'm a very introverted person. I prefer like talking on my own terms instead of being like, oh, I have to talk to these people. That's mostly because I'm 19 and still in high school. But, um, no, I don't really, I, I, the few people I know, I would never want to, them to know that I work on an anime titty game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, it's not that I'm it's ashamed not, it's of not it. That I'm like not proud of it, but it's not really yeah. socially acceptable. Yeah, it's <laughs> not that I'm not proud of it. It's not that like, I'm ashamed of it. I love this community, and like, I love, I love how Jin's turning out. But it's like, I like I, d- I don't know anyone that wouldn't react to that, just thinking that I'm like a creepy weirdo. Yeah, there's a, there's a stigma around working on porn games. No, uh, or just animation in general. <laughs> Yeah, just working in the porn industry, unless you're a male porn star, then only your buddies would think that's cool. But most of the time, like working what? in like the adult adult entertainment industry, it's kind of got the stigma of like, well, that must mean you're a, per- a pervert. I know, Um, I think once in my life, this is something, actually, I'll tell this later. This is a story for later, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> oh God. It's all I a think- farce. I'm living multiple lives. Yeah. Okay, so this question's another kind of joke question, specifically for Andrew. Um, oh, shit. Would you fuck the globe lug globe? No. Uh, okay. Is there any background <laughs> you want to see in the game that's not in? Um, okay, this is... I have I have the best answer Space. for this. So for the longest time, I really wanted to get a background where it was like... Think of this, right? So it's a stage, but there's people in the crowd watching. It's like a play performance, right? So like, like the default Kisuke. Kisuke. Yeah, yeah, but I, you know, just something better than that. But that's what I was like, whoa, that'd be fucking cool, you know? But I could not get that to work in the game. I made a lot of the backgrounds, a lot of the shitty older backgrounds. I made those. Um, and that was one I really tried to work in there, but I just could not do. Um, so I guess that that's my answer. Yeah. Um, I would, this is kind of, this isn't so much a joke one, but it also is a joke one. I'd like to just... I don't know why, I kind of like the idea of it being in space. What like, the fuck? <laughs> is it because of the complete edition it's that I put that moon. space background in? It's on the moon. It has to be yeah. on the moon. There's rocks floating around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the moon. And I'll the put rocks- that in the next complete edition. Yeah, for thank you. you. Um, okay. I'll, I'll be honest, I've never paid do? attention to the backgrounds. I always just have the default one. Oh yeah. yeah Which backgrounds like do that. you guys use? I know Andrew. I think pool side every time. Pool side pool every side? time. That's my favorite background. I fucking I use the roof one. The pool side one is just cool. I, I like love the pool the, side. I don't know why. I just love the idea of the roof one because that's where I used to go to do all kinds of dumb shit with my friends too. Like shoot up hair, black tar heroin. No, let's not Columbia discuss that. Black tar. Let's not Columbia discuss that kind of stuff. Masturbate and then fall off and die. <laughs> Damn it. Let, let's keep the talk about heavy drugs to a minimum. Oh, anyway, I wasn't yeah. talking about drugs. So, I, I my don't drug. really ever change the background. I think the background, the default one's pretty good. Poolside is better. Fight me. Moon's I, the, I mean, all right. the roof's the best. That's, that's, that's like the fucking anniversary edition of this podcast. It's just like live from the inventory. Andrew versus Ed Mask, the blood match. Oh yeah, it's just gonna be bare knuckle boxing. Um, yeah. No oh. holds barred. You, you, dude, I broke my finger boxing. You don't, you know... Then I'll break another. Fix finger. it. Yeah, do it. Let's I'll go. break your finger, bro. Well, that was a long time ago. That was a couple years ago, but you know. Now your okay. finger is stronger for it. Yeah, yeah it, it grew. It grew back stronger. Rolling, it's adamantium. Anyway, okay. What's the next question? Oh, that's. Uh, oh, the last question is: Have any of you played strip poker in real life? No. No. Once. Uh, <laughs> like, I would be down for it, except there probably wouldn't be like four cute anime girls on the other side. Yeah, that's true. What's the point It'd probably be like had, one I, one girl and like three dudes. I'd that honestly, is true. Yeah. Honestly, so I don't want to do it. 
The, at this point, it, only if it's like at an anime convention with a bunch of cute cosplayers. Oh yeah, like one of those maid, like one of those maid cafes and yeah, shit. But, That'd be the bomb. That'd be also, great. But also, I don't really know how much I, f how comfortable I feel getting naked in front of other people. So it's and, not that you know, if, if one of the dudes has like a bigger dick than you, then the night's ruined. Oh really. no. Oh, well, I mean, it's awful. more just the fact that I'm not the. I don't know. I don't like my body that much. You know. I mean, it's not like I don't like it. It's not like I hate it. It's just that. Like, I don't what? walk around shirtless. You... I'm a bit on the bigger side. But yeah, I think that's all the questions. So, uh... So, um, we've been talking a lot. We talked about our own upcoming projects, but are there any, like, other upcoming projects you're excited about? Hexmaniac. Uh, yeah, Hexmaniac. Oh, yeah, wasn't she supposed to come out in February? Mm. Yeah. She's been released already. You just can't see her because you don't have the slip scope. I have two ah, slip scopes. That's, scope, that's good. That's a good one. You can yeah. still escape from her with a polka doll, though. I think I don't think that this hex maniac runs from poke dolls. Why she runs you... towards a pokey other things. Why would you want to run she away is. from this hex maniac? What are you, some I, kind of coward? I, just, I well, think she, she the body type like is like not Putin. appealing to me. Is it the chub? I... It's the thick. <laughs> it's the uh it's the please sit on my face i don't want it to... i actually have like a really pathological fear of suffocation so like oh, shit. okay this is actually like really? it's actually like a... yeah actually so it's like i yeah like drowning and suffocation are my two things but i'm like nah not cool so sort of sort of no on that that's fair if i was oh, drowning well. in hex maniac's ass i don't really see the issue <laughs> well, see. can you imagine how foul that ass is though that's fair why would yeah i don't have a sense yeah, of smell so jokes on you i don't have a sense of smell <laughs> i'm fine television television for espinati one oh, <laughs> i would God. be able to enjoy it uh. no <laughs> i would not enjoy it but we just smell like a lot of sweat and uh Whatever genitals smell like. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I mean, you know who I'm really excited for? I'm really excited for Yuri to fucking release all her um, WIPs. But also, so like 2040. <laughs> but no. But in all seriousness, um, oh, there's a few. I really like how um, I really want to see how that because the, the, it's been posted, but um, Junko and Oshima. They have like a poses done for her, and they're working on dialogue now. I think is what they said. And uh, I think I'm like I'm definitely really excited for Jen's release. Actually, I think uh -huh. it's always good. No, seriously, like I think it's a very ambitious first start. I think um, this is something I kind of wanted to mention earlier, where it's like I definitely think having a character that's relatively obscure for people's first character is like really good expectation management. I think Jen's gonna be. An incredible yeah. add to the game because he kind of hits like that Johnny Bravo style like dude character that's yeah. always good to have in a game he's, like this. He's definitely being, a Chad. I want to pick up the chicks without yeah. being Johnny Bravo. That was a good Johnny Bravo, Bravo impression. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but he's also no like not weirdly like it's kind of like what Captain Falcon was aiming to be. Yeah, Captain I think Captain Falcon Falcon's... is just just like yells. I think that it's is not. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Captain Falcon's bad. I just think that like there's better versions of that archetype. Yeah, and well, I think like I tell cause... you, I tell you what, all you motherfuckers, you guys are gonna rue the day when fucking Armika gets on the test tables. You guys are gonna shit your pants. She's gonna be the bomb. She's gonna be the top superstar of the ring. Dude, She's the you champ. Have no idea how much you're hyping her up and how much I'm gonna love shitting on her as much as I can now. You can try. You can I'm, try. I'm gonna, all right. You know what? I'm gonna do a sneak peek. How could you hate a character that has a pose like this? You know they're not going to see it. Yeah. It's processing. Podcast, right? What the it's fuck? The coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. Okay. 100% hype. Okay. 100% hype. Okay. 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 Oh no spoilers. No spoilers. All right, no spoilers. yeah. Poor Armika. She's going to be real good if this is... Oh my even, god. I don't no think spoilers. I possibly could explain what I just saw. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> um, yeah, I just... You know, I think it's always really exciting to see... Um, just all the projects people have. Yeah, you can't even think now after that, can you? Oh, dude, this is... Just... That's what I thought. What the fuck was that? <laughs> You'll see. Am I see. aroused or terrified? You'll see. <laughs>
Yeah, but uh, I think like well, having spe- good speaking kind of self rotation. Yeah, oh. I think having a good like. I just thought of um, who I'm really excited for. Himiko yeah, Toga. Sorry, who? Himiko Toga. Yuri's. Oh yeah, Himiko. I think like oh, villain yeah, nice characters one. are just nice like, general... I thought I you said Fortnite. Like for a second, I got terrified. Because I thought you said more Fortnite characters or something. Fuck off. Fuck off of Fortnite. <laughs> but it has a frying pan. Spam, who are you excited TF2 for? TF2 had a frying pan. I'm a frying pan. What's happening? Who are you excited for? Like, who, like upcoming characters? Armika. A Hexmaniac. Oh, yeah, wait, you That's did say Hexmaniac, didn't you? I'm a fool. Uh. Yeah. Most other characters are like, oh, Fire Emblem. Well, never played any of those. So. How the are Fire, any, the like, Fire, Fire Emblem, Emblem versus Danganronpa, like, Civil War simulator is... is well, is no, the, the Civil War is between Fire Emblem and Ruby. Um, Fuck. Mm. That's I the mean, ultimate There's a lot of Danganronpa characters this? being made, though, too, because, like, we oh, got... Oh. Mahiru, I forgot. Um, I'm Chiaki's... excited for launch, who's coming out soon. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, launch is gonna be cool. Launch is gonna be great. Yeah, She's if Neo's be... is, and if Neo, if um, Neo said that she might even be on the testing tables before this episode's out. Oh shit, that'd be awesome. I love uh, Neo's characters. Yeah. Neo's is a cool dude. He doesn't give himself enough credit for shit he does, but yeah. I, I like. Neo. I, I, yeah, I, he, I made, he made Elaine and Morgan. Oh, you know, he's great. I, it's like Morgan great talking Pyatt. to him and stuff, and I love. I helped push him along to make. Yeah, that's more, good. I that's was good. the hype man behind. I think Neil. I think Neil's like his Neil's creativity is really, really good. Like he always has like. Yeah, he knows good what he's character. doing. Yeah, he has good character concepts. Like the Elaine rework and Morgan were both, you know, really, really, yeah, really. They're top executed notch. really well. Oh man, I'm I'm, re- I'm real excited for a uh, for a launch because you know she's got the the gimmick obviously with her changing personality when she sneezes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I made her model, so I might nice. be so, coming to the game. It, it, it's, know, it's a really ambitious project because she actually has a a, cy- a time of day, like a cycle, like you know, an Animal Crossing or some shit, right? So yeah. if you play her in like allergy season, she switches more. It's very hard to quote code that in. Yeah, it is. It's it's actually it's really, really the, the server yeah, architecture. It's so hard to code in that it's not actually true. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I think. Yeah, I just, it's always really cool to see what people are working on, but I tend to not get too too excited until, like, they're almost out of testing. Like, I yeah, like That's testing. good, yeah. Just because, like, as, from my, from my perspective, it's like, you see so many waifus live and die, like, dust in the wind, and like tears it just... Like, rain? No. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I think, how are we for time? Are we... I think we're good. Um, we hit All the right. hour mark. I think we can talk a little bit more, though. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, you know, you can always find me on the Discord, but if you want to ask me any questions on the spot that I can't, like, him and all my way out of, you know, lightning round me, let's go. Like, oh, I don't really have much, honestly. What, what do you like better, Fortnite or Minecraft? Shut the fuck up. I have never played either. I think Fortnite is probably a better you- game. Are Please you more excited for Roblox 2 or, or Minecraft 2? Okay, Andrew, no more questions. Okay. So, um, Andrew, you're bad. Yeah, are you going to pre-order the next Sonic the Hedgehog game? I'm I, think, uh, I think we're pretty You can young. try. I'll just make another account like I did last time. <laughs> okay, anyway. so, anyway, I think... um. You can't stop me from making characters. I have oh. number one on the Andrew, most made characters. You can't I'll stop slap me. You this train has no brakes. Anyway, so, I think at this point... Do we have anything else we really want to talk about? Any stories? Any anything good? Nah, no, just open like every day. Like I said, no, don't stoners get out. Yeah, don't no, promote. No, no marijuana. Yeah, like I said, you know, feel free. Uh, any questions you want to ask, um, you know, about the game, please feel free. Yeah. I'd love to commit that to a, a format that I can't go back and erase. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we're we're at like the outros now. So, actually, I have a challenge. I, I want to um, anybody who's listening to this. I'll personally pay you uh, twenty bucks on PayPal if you can find me a build of Spinati that is uh, older than the one on the classic edition, like a, the build of Spinati that just had the first four characters or the first five characters. Uh, get that to me uh, for preservation, and I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay for that. Oh, well, because I can't right. find that anywhere, and that's what I used to play before I told everybody about it. So I want to. I want to relive that, hopefully. 
because yeah, uh, the, the oldest build that I have access to now uh, is not the oldest one that I remember playing. Yeah. So. Sorry about some of the background noise. I just got my dinner. It's a Subway. Oh, oh wow. Subway chan for spinning. Hey, yeah. So uh, basically, this podcast um, was brought to you by Subway. Yeah. Eat fresh. Yo, um, Eat Subway free. executives, if you're watching this and you They're want... not. You want something, just in case, if anyone, even if you just work at a Subway, and if you think you can convince us to get sponsored by Subway, hit, That's hit me up. That's not going to happen. Shut up, let me, yeah. let me well, dream. Well, listen, off. if, if Hatsune Miku is sponsored with Domino's, yeah. maybe Spinetti could sponsor with Subway. Yeah. Ma- if, uh, Maybelline. Yeah. Well, so basically, uh, anyway, anyway, thank you guys Reese's for having, having me on. Do you guys have any, any last words? Show. Yeah. Any of you guys have any last words you want to say to the... To the to the listeners, the mass was trying to say his last words. Come I on. was, and then I got talked over. Yeah, I'm a really effective mod. Uh, no, I just want to say, you know, thank you, you know, thank you for bringing me on, but also just thank you to the community in general. Like the game wouldn't be as good as it was without, you know, all the different voices and different mindsets that contribute to it. And really, we have something pretty unique here. And I like that nobody's ego really kind of rules the day at the end of it. So please just. Keep up the hard work, keep up, you know, the concern and care that everyone shows for others, and we'll be great, you know, another year down the line and another year after that. So thank you all for being a great community to moderate. I really appreciate you. Yeah, until we run out of space. Yeah, and then we're just going to more characters. Yeah, then you, then, you, then you all turn into fucking animals. Like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, running out of space, or at least the, the character roster, we're doing a resort soon. Are yeah. We? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very soon. Yeah. Resort. Resort is coming next week. Um, you can vote once a day. Yeah. Please vote for characters you like. It'll give them more publicity. I'm uh, more nervously fun. sitting on at the edge of my seat to see how Felicia is going to rank in that. I'm going to be voting for her. I'm going to vote, vote for her. Thank you. I like her. Thank you. I um, tried my absolute hardest yeah. to make her as cute as possible. Please. She's please the sure. only character that asked the player to cuddle. I know. We need, where are our our cuddle niche? Also, she's like actually, I won't spoil that because that's her epilogue. So yeah, don't don't do that. Yet. Yeah, she's really interesting. She's been out long enough for me to talk about her. Actually, let's not go too much into detail. Actually, because we're pushing. Oh, by the time. way, I never get to tell you this, Sudra, but thank you for sponsoring her. You were the first person oh, to sponsor dude. her, dude. Thank I was you. I was waiting for that sponsorship because she was so much fun to play with at first. I, she's a little rough around the edges, but I like. Looking over that, she makes up for it with like her her gimmick and how cute she is. It's, I loved her. Keep going. I'm close to coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, what but thank I... you, man. That's really nice. <laughs> no problem, my dude. Um, so yeah, um, please please vote for like the character resort and stuff. If you don't do oh, it, yeah. then like vote every the day. Point? Yeah, or like at least if you vote. Your mom to vote. Get your dog to vote. If, if you don't yeah. vote as often as you can about characters you like you're going to have some results that you're not going to be happy about. Yeah. And that's all I need to say about that. Yeah. Do you think oh, Marnette oh, oh, will be oh, on oh, the oh, front oh. page again? I hopefully your favorite character. Um, hopefully hopefully Jin gets out first so then I can just, so he can get voted all the way to the front because that's totally going to happen. He's not going to be out uh, in a week, you know. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it. This was our podcast. I'm your host, Zuja. I'm Spinana. I'm Andrew. Oh, and I'm in a mask. God damn it. <laughs> Don't end on that. No. Jesus. <laughs> no. All right, and I'm in a mask for one of your community mods. Thanks for having me on. And yeah. See you on the Discord. Yeah, for um, for one last question for all your listeners, if you want to get you thinking. None of you have ever answered any of these questions, but I'm going to keep trying. Who was the first character, or who were the first characters you ever played? That's actually that, a good question. It is, and I will, I'll have us answer that next time. Um, anyway, thank you for listening. Um, enjoy your stay at the inventory. <laughs>